two fearsome men collide in Australia's most notorious prison fight in Long Bay, 1992. Tom, tough Tommy Domican, known as the hardest man in Sydney in the 1970s and the 1980s, up against one of Australia's most dangerous men, Arthur Neddy Smith. Arthur Neddy Smith, one of Australia's most infamous criminals. I'm not guilty. I've never stabbed anyone. I've got no further comment on the advice of my lawyers. Neddy Smith ruled Sydney's violent underworld for 20 years, robbing, killing, and trafficking heroin. I despise him. Uh, I, I, th I think he's one of the lowest uh, human beings I've ever come across. Corrupt police buried evidence of Smith's brutal crimes, but he double-crossed them. Sydney in the 1980s was a battleground. Three main gangs fought for control over businesses, including drugs and gambling machines. The biggest rival became the McCann Domican group. There was a dispute between Domican and McCann on the one side and McPherson and his group on the other in which machines, that is gambling machines, in a coffee lounge at Enmore belonging to McPherson were th effectively thrown out onto the street. The coffee shop owner was told, no longer do you work the McPherson machines, you now work the Domican machines. This attempted takeover sparked a tit-for-tat fight that dangerously escalated. Neddy Smith was charged with eight murders, was convicted of two murders, but was tape-recorded bragging of many more. Police began secretly recording Neddy Smith's conversations in jail. In 1998, he was taped bragging about killing 12 people. And within a year, Smith was charged with seven more counts of murder. He was also involved in robberies, heroin dealing, and working with corrupt police officers who gave him free reign to run his criminal enterprise. He was also a respected street fighter, being six foot six and over 16 stone. And he once claimed that he beat British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion, Bunny Johnson, in a street fight. This was outside a nightclub in Sydney. How true that is, I don't know. But incidentally, Bunny Johnson was Britain's first ever black heavyweight, heavyweight champion, and knocked out Richard Dunn in the first of their two fights. New South Wales detective described Neddy Smith by saying he was an absolutely appalling human being. He committed murder, robberies, and was Australia's biggest heroin dealer. And Neddy Smith had also committed other heinous crimes and was closely associated with notorious and feared hitman Chris Flannery, who was also known as Mr. Rentakill. And the turning point was the arrival into Sydney of notorious Melbourne hitman Christopher Dale Flannery. Flannery rode into town wanting a piece of the action. He was a law unto himself. Flannery had a reputation uh, of being a contract uh, killer. Uh, his reputation preceded him and uh, he was a feared uh, individual within the underworld. He was a very dangerous man. I think it'd be fair to say he was a psychopath. It was only a matter of time before Flannery would need to align himself with one of the gangs. But who and when was anybody's guess. So Neddy Smith was imprisoned for life in 1989 for two murders. Neddy Smith was a huge man, standing nearly two metres tall and weighing 100 kilograms. Few jailers could manage him and he was moved constantly between prisons. So it was in Long Bay Prison in 1992 where Neddy Smith bumped into Tom Domican, Irish born Tom Domican, also known as Tough Tommy and known as the hardest man in Sydney, he himself had beaten seven murder-related charges. And he was once found guilty of attempted murder on the notorious hitman known as Mr. Rentakill, Chris Flannery. Chris Flannery and his wife, Kathy, were standing out the front of their home farewelling friends. As they walked towards their front door, a green sedan pulled up. They were very lucky. They were all lucky that they weren't Barely injured, if not killed. As the attacker sped off, the shocked family realised Chris Flannery had been hit twice in the right ear and right hand. Ambulancemen treated him and he was rushed to St George Hospital. The wounds were minor, but police are treating the attack as attempted murder. They say he's lucky to be alive. And they had every reason to be paranoid. But a lot of it, as I said, was put on because of the way Flannery behaved himself. He created trouble wherever he went. He created enemies. 
So Tommy Domican had been accused of firing 30 rounds at hitman Chris Flannery outside his home. A couple of the bullets actually hitting Chris. Tom Domican was then sentenced to 14 years for the attempted murder on Flannery. This was overturned and the sentence was quashed after he'd served five years. Tom Domican went to jail for five and a half years over the attempted murder of Flannery and a number of other charges. But after an unprecedented legal battle, he was cleared on all charges. And subsequently, all of Tommy Domican's criminal record has been quashed. So seven murder-related charges have all been quashed. He, he now has no criminal record in New South Wales. So Tommy Domican has never been charged with any drug-related crimes. He's battled for many years to stop his name being associated with the underworld. And most of the witnesses in the prosecution in his, in his cases were unreliable, untrustworthy and police informers. But it was during that 14 year sentence that Tommy arrived at Long Bay Prison. Tommy was then approached by Neddy Smith's friend and enforcer, Graham Abbo Henry. Graham Abbo Henry then said to Tommy Domican, Ned, Neddy's got a cell for you. Tom Domican immediately replied with, I don't mix with dogs, referring to the fact that Neddy Smith was allegedly a police informer. Neddy Smith, upon hearing this, went looking for Tommy. And bearing in mind, Neddy Smith was six foot six, 18 stone at that point, 46 years old. Tom Domican was five foot nine and just under 10 stone, and I think 46 years old. So Neddy Smith had a big size advantage over Tom. And Neddy Smith had actually developed Parkinson's disease at that time as well. So when they bumped into each other, Neddy Smith shouted at Tommy, get over here, I want to talk to you. Tough Tommy stood his ground. So Ned Smith tried to get Tom to go back to the cell and settle it in the cell and lock the door. Tom's not going to have that because he knows there could be a blade in there or there could be a weapon in there. So Tom, Tom's idea was to settle it in the gym, have a, have a straightener in the gym. So Smith said to Domican, are you afraid to fight me? And then Domican replied, I'll never, be, I'll never be afraid to fight a mug like you. Neddy Smith's trying to get Tom in the cell. Tom's not having it with a cell. Neddy Smith was known to, to do what in Australia is called a king hit, which is what we call in Britain a sucker punch, where you hit someone from the side where they're not looking. Neddy Smith king hit him or sucker punched him straight in the jaw. So Domican took the punch, <clears throat> his knees buckled a bit, but he remembers thinking, I thought this bloke could punch, and uh, he was surprised. Then what happened after that was a 10 minute fight. They fought for 10 minutes. Domican being a much smaller man, struggling to get in close with Neddy Smith's tall six foot six frame and his long arms. He managed to get a kick in, and he was floored six or seven times, and uh, got up, carried on fighting, did not give in against a man who was twice his size. So the fight's going on and they're both now kicking each other, punching each other. And then Tommy Domican remembers, as Neddy Smith was kicking him, he kept losing his balance. Domican even said, I'm not being funny, but he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't knock snow off a rope. <laughs> so there we have it, one of the most infamous and notorious prison fights in the last few decades in Australia. It's become a legendary talked about fight. Uh, and as always, I don't glorify or glamorize crime and violence if anything this is a warning because if you look into this to these stories most of the people involved have been killed or in prison uh, same over in Britain most of the people that get involved in drugs and crime and violence you either die or you go to prison there's not many other ways out of that type of life Nettie Smith is in Long Bay jail for two murders he's suffering from Parkinson's disease and spends a lot of his time in the jail hospital he will never be released. Tom Domican went to jail for five and a half years over the attempted murder of Flannery and a number of other charges. But after an unprecedented legal battle, he was cleared on all charges. He is now running a building industrial construction company in Perth. So a big thank you to everybody who watches the videos, uh, everyone who subscribes, and I really appreciate all your likes, your shares, and please leave a comment. I really appreciate that, it means the world. Let me know what you think of the video. It means a lot to me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thank you.